Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video, and it's now time to go into the beatdown battle for the new antagonist meta for the dupes of Cleesh EX2 difficulty, the final stage you need to do to get her dupe out of the mission rewards, and then you can grind up the currency and buy the rest of them out of the shop. This stage is not... Oh. It's not overly difficult, it's just artificially difficult because orange teams are in such a, you know, weird spot right now. There's not a lot of them, uh, but we do use all of them here, essentially. But, looking at the units, they all have about 500,000 uh, HP, which is a decent amount for newer to mid-game players. Their stats are not impressive, though. Like, not really high attack, not really high defense. They do have a lot of physical resistance, and, and, every single one of them has a cleanse. Gobta, well, the Mir Mirror Gobta, Mirror Gabaru, and Mirror Xion. All three of them have a cleanse, so it's nearly impossible for you to use a Vengeance team. It, I say nearly because there's a, a very specific setup you can do that I'll do for Inferno, but it's going to be its own special video. Um, but, you know, traditional Vengeance teams, you ain't going to work here. Sorry about that. So you'll have to find a different team to get around those things. Otherwise, it, EX2 is not that bad. Alright, in, in an effort to make the team a bit more uh, reasonable for most players, I'm going to remove, like, the sweat kind of support units. So, for EX2, for the meta team, Emils, Kleesh, Shinsha, the free-to-play wielder of magic, Ranga, the old light 3.0 Milam, and then the very, very old light 1.0 Leon. So, support for the light buff, support with the attack buff, uh, support with the Pierce power, and then her own buff and everything, and then a Mills. So this team, while being very old and, I would say, newer player, older, well, not quite as whaley, <laughs> can still get the job done for EX2 without much trouble. So we brought Ranga, because one, we need to use two flashback characters for mission, and he counts, and we can also use his orb convert turn one instead of Cliches. And it doesn't really matter which one you do. Cleesh does give more protection gauge, but Ranga gives overall 10% gauge to everything. So we're going to use him first, which is why him and Cleesh are in slot 1 and 2. And then we'll bring Shinsha in. And now we just need to get the EX alt for Shinsha, which thankfully we've got four orbs for her right here. Works out very, very well. We only have the single alt swap from Cleesh, not that we're really going to use it or anything. But we are going to use the full orb change because we got very lucky with the orbs in general. And we only had two to convert. So now we can bring Ranga in. We have enough points to use his two-turn pierce power buff. And that will last for this turn and next turn when we have the EX alt ready to go. So, we'll do this. We'll save Emils and not use him until next turn. And that allows us to make sure that we can cycle him properly. So, now we have the EX alt. Excellent. We're doing decent damage to them. Perfect. We have the Pierce buff activated. Now we would just need to use Emils to get the Pierce rate. But we're going to bring Leon in for Ranga and use his light buff. Because we can hold that in the back. It's not skill fused. If it is, if it was, it is like 30% light resistance down. Not super great. And you wouldn't be able to hold that anyways. But we are going to use that buff now so we can send Shinsha to the back, so that on the nuke turn, we could use the Milim buff and the Shinsha buff together, and we'll have enough points to do that. Because I want to make use of Milim's attack buff and the light resistance down, which Milim is also not skill-fused. So I think she's only giving the light resistance down to one person? If she was skill-fused, it goes to everybody, I think. I think being the key word. But now we're on turn four. We're ready to go. We have enough points. Shinsha can come in for Leon because we don't need his buff anymore. We've already used it. And... Uh, yeah, it's only on one person. So that works out fine. We'll use the Mills now to give us the guaranteed pierce rate. And then we will alt with Shinsha first and have some follow-ups. 
and she does 1.2 million. We synergy for over, you know, more than that on the left hand side. But I mean, we didn't bring Violet. We didn't bring Overlord Shizu. We didn't bring a butt ton of EX characters. We brought the three brand new units and three old units. One of them being free to play. So we got the mission for two free to play characters done. We got the mission for clearing it three times with nobody dying. Um, I think there's a mission for doing it with multiple light characters. That might be higher difficulty, though. But, you know, that's the meta, quote-unquote, team that you can use for not big whaley. I have all the EX characters available people. All right, next up is what if you don't have Shinja, but you got lucky on your Koban or you got lucky on your two free ticket multis from the shop and you pulled a Mills. Okay, well, what else do you got? We got a Mills. We've got Space Shinsha, who is a alt buffing character. We've got Space Rimuru for the attack buff. We've got Cleesh still, and then we've brought Lumi, Warrior's Mind Lumi, and then Exalted Champion Guy because both of them are on Exalted Champions, or yeah, and Emils also leads Exalted Champions for dark uh, damage against dark enemies. So Guy and Lumi will get the damage buff as well. Now, Lumi being physical is going to hurt her a little bit, but we just need her as a sub-DPS. We're really looking at Guy to do most of our damage. So turn one, I mean, this is why we still have Cleesh, is we need the turn one converter, and after that we can kind of get Emils running. Rimuru has protection gauge on turn three. Uh, Lumi has support underneath her that gives her protection gauge on turn three, and so does Guy. So we have a lot of turn three protector, protection gauge from traits. So here you can see that Lumi is doing weak point damage still, but it's not super weak point because she's physical. We've got a lot, a lot of cliche orbs right there, which we're not really looking for, but we're going to burn them out anyways because I don't really want to do anything else here. So we'll take Lumi out for Space Rimuru. Uh, he's got the protection trait and all that. So we'll just send these orbs against the Mirror Gabaru. And this looks a little bit bleh, a little bit better, because we've got a 3-3 spread. Cleesh has an ult, not a big deal. She's going to go away. But if we swap her out, we're going to have a 3-3 of Guy and Lumi, which is a whole lot better. So let's ult rush with Guy, give everyone on the front line an ult, and then... We will use the double protector skill from Lumi to make a Mills go twice. And this will give us four rainbow orbs. So we're actually using her gimmick in a decent way right here. Because that gives us a lot of points and a lot of protection gauge alongside getting them their EX alts. And it's only turn three. We're looking pretty good. So here, I'm going to assume that most people do not have... Space Rimuru skill fused. If you are able to, he, it's a very good pick. But I'm going to use his buff now. And we're going to store the 40% attack buff on both Lumi and Guy. And we're not going to ult here. So we're not going to benefit off of the ult resistance down from, that we get from his skill fusion. So just, it's a non factor essentially. So let's see what we can do here. We have a lot of protection gauge because we've had the four rainbow orbs last turn we've got two more rainbow orbs this turn and now we're ready to go because we've got max points we've got the two ex alts holding in the back and the only thing we really need to do now is use the shinsha alt buff which is only 55 points and we have 130 so we will use that it's also space resistance down on one person uh, yeah sure whatever it will do a little bit extra damage to that one target. But we'll bring Guy in. We'll bring Lumi in uh, for Rimuru. So we just have yeah that one orb for him. We'll use a Mills to convert the rest of the hand, give us guaranteed pierce. And now we have enough points to use one more thing, which is going to be another stack of the Synergy Resistance down, because we already have heavy exalts. We don't need to do anything else with that. But that'll just help our damage. Guy does 280. And then Lumi does 183, and we got an, uh, some extra damage. We got a crit on the left side. So, it's not the best team in the world, and it doesn't one-shot, but it 
is a lot of old options to use. You know, a lot of people have Exalted Champion Guy because he was the half anniversary. Lumi was the one and a half anniversary banner. Kleesh is free. Space Dreamer is an OG character. Space Shensha is Valentine's of 2023. She's old too. So this works as well. All right, next up is another orange-focused burst team that gives us extra damage against dark enemies. New Year's Blessing. Who to thunk? The stage doesn't get the massive synergy resistance until Inferno difficulty, so we're fine there. It does have a lot of physical resistance, but we're simply going to brute force our way through. So Shion, Rimuru for the rainbow orbs, Diablo to give away to Rimuru, Shinsha to buff, Milim will be our AoE nuker, and then Fountain Wisdom Rimuru will be our 80 point support unit for Milim to do big time damage. So turn one, we don't have Cleesh, we don't have anyone to convert, so we're just going to send the four oranges and pray that we get um, another extra Rimuru orb on top of the one that's already coming in. So we'll bring Reem we'll bring Fountain Wisdom Rimuru in because he's got Water Shion attached to him for uh, protection gauge support on turn two. That's the only reason. Otherwise, I would have just left it. But here, we do get lucky and we do get that extra Rimuru orb. So this means that we can bring Shinsha in for uh, Fountain Wisdom Rimuru. Use the giveaway with Diablo, give them all to Rimuru, make them all rainbows, and then bring in Milim and get her EX alt for this turn. Get a lot of protection gauge. Skill points we'll get a lot of, and then next turn we'll do a big time buff with her and send her to the back. So, we are doing extra 60% damage, it's just that we they have the, I think it's a 70% physical resistance or something. Like, it's pretty hefty. And if your units are not quite as good as mine, you're going to have a little bit more difficult time. Uh, don't ask me why I use the alt swap, because she's going away anyways. I think there's no real reason to do that, but I did anyways. But we brought Rimuru in, used his 80-point skill. We're not going to benefit from the 20% physical resistance down, because we're not nuking this turn. But we still want that 65% physical buff. So, if you don't have Rimuru, you can bring Temp's Elite Benny Maru. I mean, it'll be the same thing, essentially. So, if you don't have Rimuru, bring Benny Maru. If you don't have either of them, find another support unit. But now that she's got it, she goes to the back. We'll send these orbs. It doesn't give us a lot of points, but coupled alongside the extra 30 that we're going to get this turn, and the trait from New Year's Rimuru that gives us extra skill points, we will have barely enough, barely enough, to use the Milim and Shinsha buffs. So, one, two. We don't need to worry about Rimuru's buff, because he's not the damage dealing unit for this fight technically we want to aoe with milim and we're going to do that and she does 730k and they have like 500,000 hp so brute force with new year's blessing works who to thunk still a good team let's move on all right the next oldest orange focus team came out the same time slot this this last year wielder of magic it doesn't get extra damage against dark enemies, so we're going to be a bit of a struggle there. But it is still an orange magic pierce meta, so we can we're going to try and make it work. Milim, Violet, we're gonna she's going to be kind of important here. Free to play Ranga will handle our turn one convert because he can convert two wielder of magic orbs to oranges. Shin Sh or not no well Shizu will be our alt rushing character. We have the alt resistance down skill for her. We're going to make Hinata our primary nuker because she's the AoE character. And then Shinsha will be our backup DPS because she's single target. But she still has a lot of efficient skills that this team is going to benefit from. So, like I said, turn one. Ronga's in the second slot. We left Violet in the first slot so we can bring Hinata in. And then we can convert turn one, the wielder of magic orbs. So you come in, boom. And then we can convert with Ranga, and then we can send him away for Shinsha, so she can come up front for turn one. We can get her some alt gauge here, and then we'll simply send it. Our damage is not going to look super impressive, because we're not type advantage. We're not getting the extra damage buff from the protector. So we're going to need a lot of help for this team. One, because it's kind of old, and two, it just it's not... It's type neutral. Like, we need big time damage supports. So here, we got fairly lucky. We could use Milim here. We could use Ranga here. Like, it doesn't, doesn't really matter all that much. So, 
We're going to bring Ranga in for Shizu. And then we're going to use his orb change again. Because we don't cycle oranges very well on this team. And I'm not looking to kill in four turns with this team either. What we do get is an EX halt for Hinata. Which is very good. So, that's that. <clears throat> Alright. Turn two. We've got an alt for Shinja. Cool. We can use the Hinata buff and the future hand of orbs here. But we'll use the future hand first. And then mill them. That way when we swap characters out, the incoming orbs will be orange. So we'll use the element buff. We'll use Shinsha's extra protection gauge on oranges and the extra damage on oranges. And then we'll simply send both of them away. And now we've guaranteed that the entire hand will be oranges. As well as the next incoming hand. So we can get a lot of points. We can hopefully get a decent amount of protection gauge. And we're just kind of spreading the damage out. Because we need to lower them down by more than a bit here. So turn four, I'm not quite ready to nuke yet. We need points to do the magic buff. We need points to do the Shinsha buff. So we're going to, I think, hold here and just send this hand. And I'm not gonna use Milim. We're just gonna send the two alts, send the four oranges, and pretty much burn a turn. Cause I need more points and I need to do a bit more damage. So Ranga's AOE, sure, 15K. Whatever. Shizu is single target, so we'll do a little bit of damage to that Amir uh, Shion. More importantly, though, we have a double use of Milam, which means that we have an 80 points to really build upon for turn 5, which is what we're going to want. Because we've got a number of skills that we have to use here. So, we'll use the Shizu alt resistance down. It's also an alt rush ability, but, uh, you know... Hinata already has an EX alt. And then we can bring in everything. She has all the orbs, which is good. And then we'll use the Pierce Power buff on from Ranga. We can't give it to everybody, but oh well. And now we'll use Milam. We'll change those orbs. And then we'll give us enough points to use the magic buff with Violet. And then we'll bring Shinsha in for the one Violet orb. So it's just a one to one. And then we'll use Milam a second time, give us another 40 points, change that last orb to orange, and then we can use the EX alt buff and the attack buff for Shinsha. So now we've got everything going. It's turn 5, so we're still looking pretty good. And we'll send everything. Hinata, 316. Not as much as I was hoping for. Shinsha, definitely not as much as I was hoping for. But we don't actually... We don't actually kill. Right? We took out two of them. But uh, Mirror Shion is still here. Thankfully, we have two alts ready to go. And we have an EX alt in the back and another alt. So it's not like we're out of options here. It's just it wasn't a clean kill. Oh, well. So we'll just do alt, alt, alt. We don't have enough points to really do anything else. I mean, I could have used the element buff from Hinata. Oh, well. These alts will take care of it. So it wasn't the prettiest thing in the world, but it's an option for people that don't have New Year's, don't have this new team, but have the Wielder of Magic because they've been featured on the ticket banners and everything. So, it's an option. And the final team for today's Part 1 video is another orange team, this time using Toa. Old, old orange protector. Uh, but we're going to fill it up with a lot of good support units. So, Cleesh, turn one, kind of neater. Light Leon, because we're going to buff the Light Masked Hero as our DPS character. Octogram Lumi, for a few stacks of the alt buff and the AoE buff. Commander Shizu, for primarily just her buff. We don't really need her orb change at all. But 100% physical and 70% EX alt damage. Going to be really impactful to the Light Masked Hero, who is an AoE light character. Who, again, is physical, but we've proven already that... If you have enough damage, you can just overcome that. So this goes fairly well. It just requires you to have Commander Shizu and the hero. All right, so turn one. That's why we brought Cleesh. Convert, excellent. And then we'll bring the masked hero in. And then we'll bring Shizu in for Leon. So we're going to make full use, uh, well, mostly full use, of Octogram Lumi's protection gauge for the first three turns. Because, man, this... Toa is, is, she's so old. Christmas of 2022? Yeah, I think that that's when she came out for the Scarlet Bonds movie. 
it's been a hot minute. So, we do get a good hand, though. A lot of hero orbs, so we're going to use both of the Lumi buffs. So, 10% AoE damage, 20% alt. We'll swap her out for Leon, because we're going to need him next turn to give the light buff to hero before we swap her away. And now... We don't really use anything. This is going to get the EX alt very easily, because it's all five hero orbs. Excellent. We are type advantage, so that's a good thing. No EX damage buff, because Toa's not an EX protector. Not a huge deal. Again, we're going to just kind of try and overcome that. But now, we'll apply the light buff from Leon onto the hero, and send her away. Boom. Again, Leon's not skill fused, so we're not really gaining anything from that aspect of him. Hero goes away, in comes Lumi or someone. We have enough points. Like we could we could use one stack of the alt buff, or we could take Leon out, use an AoE buff, because that's a bit more impactful for our damage. Because we're already getting alt damage from Shizu. So the AoE buff is gonna be a nice thing because it's multiplicative. But either way, the hero now comes out for Cleesh, and we're just gonna send these orbs. Because we need to hold on to Toa. We need to make sure that we have enough points to actually use an 80 cost skill and hopefully something else on the way there. So Toa gives us 40. All right, 56 points. We'll use the full hand of oranges right here. This gives us max. We don't have another Toa yet, though, which, depending on how you want to play this, could be a problem because we ideally would want to use the hero's 25 point debuff as well just to ensure that we have enough damage. So... We could either try and get another Toa and just hold, or we could just try and nuke now. Which I think I just decide to nuke now and test it and see how much damage we do. And it ends up being enough. So, 100% physical attack, 70% EX alt, plus the 20 that we have from Lumi, plus the 20% AoE damage. Lumi does 19k, Commander Shizu does 124, and the hero does... 453 on a crit, and then 330 on the other side. But combining all those alts together, we were able to take them out. And it's, you know, the newest character here is Commander Shizu, who has not yet had a rerun, I know, but she is very strong. So there we go. There are five orange teams that you can use to take on this beatdown battle with pretty good success. Uh, I'll have a part two video going out tomorrow with teams that are not orange focused that you can use that can still brute force this thing but let me know what you guys think that's it for me take it easy and i will see you all later